Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, let me know. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know how to stream. <laughs> cool, cool. Hi guys. I figured today I would try not to game and just chill out and draw with you guys. <laughs> uh, I should probably also take care of subs. Oh boy, reading. Ensign Lesbian and Rebecca subscribed. And also Liz K subscribed, but like 30 minutes ago. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I should probably actually switch off of this horrible, wonderful hold screen. Say goodbye to the $36 hell room. And back to what I was working on. <laughs> So yeah, I figured we could just chill. Apparently there's hype going on right now. That's wild. Oh no, I missed so many subs by blinking. Hello, Unusual Botanical and Rook Windy and other stuff. Guestfence Gaming, War1244, The Loser Face, 45, and Captain Lexi. <laughs> and Sky Griffin, who gifted multiple subs. I think five. I can't count. <laughs> and Night NB, hello. But yeah, I'm just working on this. And we're all just going to sit here with me and work on it today. How's it going, guys? Thank you, Cospunk Prince. Eh, monkey head you. And pin Jen. So, how's it going, everyone? How's it going, Aw Beans? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just doing my four millionth of a uh, red line of this drawing. <laughs> Sorry if I'm missing some chats. It's going pretty fast right now, and we all know that I'm illiterate, so. I'm probably just gonna <laughs> probably just gonna do this. Hello, Irvin Pepper. Thank you for subscribing. And also Lady Eight Jane, thank you for gifting. Streaming's a lot harder when I'm I have to read. <laughs> what? Hello, boss of CA and Hash Hearts of the Wild. Uh. <laughs> Making me read is homophobic. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to redraw some stuff while I work my way through the start of the stream. Born of Cinder, thank you for subbing. And also Chewy on this, who gifted 10 subs. Jesus Christ. Not a moment of peace <laughs> now that we can have subs. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching my Kaiba video. <laughs> Chat is in slow mode, but it's still fast. <laughs> well, part of I'm illiterate. <laughs> Uh, who did I miss? V Phoenix 7 and my name is Kaylee and I am Beth F. Thank you. We just chillin'. We just drawin'. I'm working on some Schmando. It's been a hot second since I've drawn them, by which I mean it's been over a week, so you know I gotta get this out of my system. And I figured it'd be a fun thing to do on stream. <laughs> Oh, thank you, AK, Nicole. It's it's the people who've never watched Yu-Gi-Oh! who watch my videos about Yu-Gi-Oh! that make me the happiest. <laughs> um, elbow. 
Thunderbug93 and Low Tad Queen. Thank you. Oh, Hot Damler gifted 10, and I missed it. Thank you so much. And so did A. Ty Meyer and the Hooded Gengar. Should I read everything? I'm never going to get anything done. <laughs> But yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bam. It's Ham and Sushi Jude. Uh, what are my thoughts on Rex and Weevil? I like them. They're fun. I don't like Weevil, but I do like Rex. <laughs> Sorry, Weevil fans. <laughs> Do I have Pinterest boys for the Hawkeye PI boys? No, I don't use Pinterest. I don't really know anything about it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it'd be fun to do like an actual drawing on stream. I knew I'd be really distracted, but I figured after all this time with Drawfee, I'm kind of used to drawing in front of people. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Wow, thank you Artemis20 for gifting five subs. Also, thank you Rainy Days 420 and Artemis20 again. I think I got everything else, so oops. <laughs> uh, Bella FO3, thank you, your mom. Uh, Gay Furby, you can read all of Hawkeye P.I. on Webtoon right now. It'll probably just stay there for a while while I figure out what to do with it next. So it's all up there. There's only three issues still. So for the time being. Oh, seepy, seepy, sleepy seasug. <laughs> Hello. Gave out one tier, one community sub. Also, thank you, Glacial Geek. And... Idolize, you idolize. I've given out more. And Ghost Rot. I'm not going to read the number, <laughs> but you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, it's you. You're CPC Sug now. <laughs> Aw, oh, thank you guys for watching my videos. I don't know how many more I'm gonna make. I just, I'm, I'm kind of out of things to talk at length about, but we'll see. Jedi Super Pimp, thank you for subbing. <laughs> yeah, Raymond is my producer. And yes, Sassafras Caddy. Julia does need to chill with her background. <laughs> I wonder if I'm just having sensory overload because I'm also listening to music just on my own. So <laughs> great times. I saw how bad the lag was on the Animal Crossing stream and I like didn't want to stream a game again. So I was like, I'll just draw. And now here I am <laughs> still struggling, but I think it's at least working better. <laughs> Have I thought about drawing Schmidt and Nando cosplaying as Kaiba and Hanzo, respectively? Why would I have ever have thought about that? <laughs> what music am I listening to? I'm listening to Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon on repeat. Just one song. It's, my, it's one of my favorite songs, so that's just where I've ended up today. <laughs> Also, hello, Turp to Shoot Annihilator. Thank you for giving out a sub. And also, Malignant Sarza, MJ Bird. Uh, I think I got the rest. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't think of anything else to do for this stream. Except, I did have this very belated idea 
of streaming Neopets, but I, I didn't want to do it today, so not not today though. <laughs> If anyone's down for a Neopets stream, maybe I can do that next week. Because I, I forget how long we are going to definitely be doing these bonus streams, but I'm always happy to. So it's a thought. <laughs> I realized I could do that last night, and I logged into my Neopets account just to make sure that I could, because I haven't touched it in about six years, maybe still there <laughs> waiting <laughs> uh, when are we getting sub emotes and stuff I am not sure but probably sooner rather than later uh, let me make sure Definitive idiot, Southeast Finland Gandhi man. Thank you. Did I say zombiness as well? Or turpitude annihilator? If I did, I said them again. You're welcome. Um, hey, Kareen, I feel like I've seen you use Procreate before. Do you have a preference between that and Photoshop? Um, honestly, most of what I do outside of Drawfee nowadays, except for like any type of comic work, I do in Procreate. I really like it. Um, anything kind of paintery I've ever posted. That's, uh, I actually started this in Procreate. The sketch was done in Procreate because I can do it in bed. But, um, I'm a big fan of that 6B pencil, and I've had a difficult time finding tools in Photoshop that can recreate that as well as the smudge tool in Procreate. So uh, I, I use both for different things. I guess lately I kind of prefer Procreate, but mostly for like sketchy type stuff. Kuma0812, thank you. And idolize your idolize. Thank you for another gifted sub. <laughs> oh, I mean, don't get me wrong about Neopets. Um, my old accounts were purged. So my accounts from when I was very, very young are long gone. But I have a third account <laughs> that I made while I was in college. So that one's still there. So maybe I can do a Neopet stream next week. That'll be engaging. I think they just launched their mobile beta. So I haven't checked it out. I did log in just to make sure it still worked, but I didn't do anything beyond the login screen. So <laughs> I'm not making a new account. I worked so hard on the account that I still have. <laughs> Neopets Mobile is a thing. Well, I can't wait to learn more about it. We can do it together next week <laughs> or whenever the next bonus stream is. Hmm? <laughs> oh, thank you, Long was here. And thank you, Chickadee433. For subscribing I think I got everyone else wow it sure is hard to keep track of these things by myself <laughs> uh, uh, do I play the Sims no I used to play it sometimes uh, with my friends but I never actually owned it myself and I still don't <laughs> What am I drawing? I'm drawing Schmando, baby. I'm just working on a on another Schmando drawing for my own amusement. And hopefully yours too. <laughs> it 
it sure would be nice if I stopped just drawing Schmando and actually worked on issue four, but we'll get there. It's baby steps. It's been a it's been a long, cruel summer, so I'll get to it. Oh, sassy French potato. Neopets don't die. <laughs> Who's the blonde dude I drew with Ando a while back? Uh, elaborate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Neopets always get remembered, but never die. <laughs> uh, what is what is your neck? That's not right. Uh, how many Neopets do I have? That's a good question. Like, on my last remaining account, I think I have four. I don't know if I have five. Oh, Blonde Schmidt? It's Blonde Schmidt. Don't worry about it. Is this right? Yeah. <laughs> You were able to have five Neopets? I think so. Yeah, they added, they, they gave us more rights over time, I think. I'm not sure. Because I remember I have two loops, um, Derek Kale and Scoot McCool. I think I have a lab ray pet named Balthazar. I don't know if you can tell, but I got back into Neopets around 2013. <laughs> my my i remember my store on my neopets account was called derek kale's derek sales And I think I have a fourth pet, but I don't remember. It'll be a fun surprise the next time I properly log into my account. What am I doing? His fingers look stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I stopped playing. Um, I got really into it right after my junior year of college. It just kind of happened because I was stressed out about school. And I had to physically leave the country for two weeks to stop playing Neopets again. And then I never logged back in because I knew I knew it would just be another slippery slope. So, but I'd be happy to stream it. <laughs> What's my favorite song right now? That's a good question. I like to just listen to a lot of the same songs I've been listening to for like 10 years. So what have I been listening? Fingers wrong. What have I even been listening to lately? <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. I don't know if you're in the chat, but I saw that message. <laughs> um. I'll have to remember what I'm listening to right now. Like nothing, mostly. <laughs> yeah, everybody say thank you, Nathan. Uh, did I have a Gaia Online account? Surprisingly not. I tried getting into Gaia Online really briefly because a lot of my friends were into it, but um, I, I couldn't get into it. It didn't interest me as much. It wasn't a pet simulator, so, like, what's the point? Am I right? <laughs> what am 
Wait. <laughs> yeah, my friends were crazy into Gaia. Like, they did a lot of commissions and stuff for gold. But I... I don't know. I didn't like using message boards on things most of the times. So I think that kind of made it difficult for me to really like get into Gaia because I didn't want to talk to people. <laughs> Just going to continue overworking the face so I don't have to go to the body and have to make any commitments on that <laughs> oh gelatin boy that's cute <laughs> did I have a favorite game on Neopets um I feel like I played a lot of <laughs> I hate that they kind of I remember the names I liked Hassy Bounce <laughs> and the ice cream game <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think uh, I'm trying to remember what else I liked. I mean, part of why I started playing again when I was in college is because I just really wanted to see how much it changed and it didn't change. So I already have like the image of Neopets ruined for me in my mind because I know it never really upgraded itself. <laughs> But, oh, and the weird paint game where you had to, like, the balls would go across the top and you had to land them in the right vat. I played that one a lot, too. And Mirka Chase, that's just a given. <laughs> I'm not looking around the room for help. My, the chat's over there. My screen's right here. Everything's difficult. <laughs> yeah, Mutant Toy Factory. <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about Neopets. I'm down to just talk about Neopets. If, if people are down, I'll stream it next week. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? What are you wearing? I meant to have more of this done ahead of time because I thought it would make it easier <laughs> to read the chat if I was just doing like coloring or something. But then I didn't finish in time because everything's hard. So this will do. I've been ignoring the, the subs. Oh, no. Uh, green soupy mess and a crane art and flicker in 06 and paper stingray. Thank you. <laughs> As a Millsbury kid, I understand none of this. I don't know what that is. I feel like I only ever played Neopets. Nothing else <laughs> was as <this> good. <laughs> I didn't decide what you were wearing, Nando. Oh, no. Oh, cook. Ravel Rars. Subscribe. Thank you. Do do I have actors who I picture as Schmidt and Nando? Not really. Um, I mean, there's the obvious choices. Oh, Daedalus seventy two gave out five subs. Thank you. I mean, I don't know if they're here in this chat, but I know someone. Uh, I didn't comment on it because I didn't want 
they didn't tag me, so I don't want to embarrass them. But I saw that edit of uh, Schmidt and Nando as <laughs> of Schmidt and Markiplier. I liked it a lot. <laughs> um, how's my island? It's good. Um, I moved out Lobo. I felt kind of bad about it at first because he's like Raymond's best friend. They're always hanging out and Lobo actually gave me his photograph while at Raymond's house. So that was a real, <laughs> that was a real salt on the wound moment. But um, when I was talking about it on Twitter, someone said that they had been hunting Lobo for a really long time because they were, or he was their favorite um, as a kid and then moved away suddenly. So I let him take Lobo and I, it made me really happy. <laughs> Is that an arm? We'll find out. Oh, by Stingray, 13-7. Oh, idolize your idolize and Dela72 gave out more subs. I don't know if I said that. Thank you. Who do I have in his place now? Uh, Cat. I've had her amiibo for a while and I've been saving it. So, yeah, I kind of have my perfect villager roster right now. It's probably not going to change for a long time. <laughs> draw this hand uh, so glad I left drawing all the hands for the stream itself so I could embarrass myself <laughs> Aww, cost punk prints <laughs> why does he have so many fingers why am I stupid It's the most savage thing Bo has said to you. I mean, it's hard to top the thing he said when he first moved on to my island where he's like, I got you this gift. I made it myself. Put it on your favorite spot in the island. And it was a fucking gravestone. But he's always doing some, some shit. <laughs> Bo's not allowed to leave. Ah, idolize, revitalize. You give it away so many subs. Thank you. Um... Uh, how can I get Hawkeye PI if it's sold out? It'll come back. I still have copy. I still have plenty of copies of it. I just haven't remembered to restock my store. <laughs> um, those of you who may have tuned in last week for my for my bonus stream may remember I had a had a weird uh, allergic reaction thing going. So that kind of took over my entire last week, and I just haven't really gotten back to restocking my store since but I'll do it soon because I should probably do that <laughs> uh, is that a hand is that the hand I want probably Yes, I am okay now. <laughs> um, it wasn't anything serious. Uh, a mosquito bit my mouth, um, and it basically just went very badly, and it was just very fucked up for a few days. And my skin's still dry, so it's weird, and it was nasty. I don't want to talk that much about it. I just feel like it's gross. <laughs> yeah, mosquitoes... Especially mosquitoes up here hate me. Texan mosquitoes have never done me quite so dirty as the ones up here love to, so I hate hands. But yeah, it was a whole thing, so I didn't really get a lot done last week other than editing the Kaiva video. <laughs> <laughs> Is this 
this a hand? I love drawing hands in front of so many people. It's been so long since I've done a Schmando piece with li actual line art. <laughs> I should use this for something. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cherry Blood Knight. Also, thank you, Demon Chicked, and select memory for subbing. Always remember to add in your fingernail indicators so people know the turn on your fingers. Hacks. <laughs> okay, I think that's okay. If it's bad, I'll just redo it later. <laughs> wow, thank you guys. Yeah, I get so many comments on my YouTube videos saying, like, I love your ASMR, and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> That's just how I talk. Um, do I have other videos planned? Cannot say right now, because, like I said at the end of my last video, um... I I do have no shortage of things to do, especially now that like Drawfee's really back in the swing of things and stuff. So I I, I don't know. I I did have a few ideas for some very jokey um more Yu-Gi-Oh videos just for my own amusement, but we'll see. <laughs> um I think the next video I might do will just be kind of like a more like a chatting video of just covering a bunch of topics that I probably will not make videos on, such as my opinions of some of the other series. But yeah, it, it's kind of just something I've been doing for fun uh, because I miss seeing people and info dumping to my good friends. So instead, I guess I'm just doing it publicly on, on YouTube now. <laughs> Uh, um, metric party. Thank you, metric party, and thank you, I want to believe. Is Yu Gi Oh! YouTube called YugTube? It's actually called Yugi Tube. <laughs> I got reading Yvonne 1280 subscribe. Thank you, and so did Vandalocity. Uh, you pop right back in there, buddy. Oh no, I lost where this arm was going. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. I stream Duel Links? Maybe. I haven't been playing a lot of Duel Links this year. I maxed out all the characters I use, so <laughs> I just haven't been playing much. Um, I'd also need to check if you can uh, cross your account between mobile and what is it, the stream ver or stream Steam version? I don't know. I don't know how obvious this may be, but I'm not super um, savvy to streaming and I don't usually know what I'm doing. Um, were we recording speed draws and stuff the whole time that we were on hiatus? Yeah. 
Um, we, we record once a week, so usually we would do a beans and then an episode for the future. Also, I feel like I've saw a couple people saying that the stream's kind of weird. Let me know if the quality's weird. I don't know. Um, did I read that? Vandala City? I think I did, but... Is it back? <laughs> it's, it is green on my end, but if there are any issues, I don't know how to fix them. <laughs> so here's hoping. I hate this arm. Yeah, there was a lot of bad weather, so my area wasn't too affected, so hopefully things are pretty stable. But my internet is usually good, but can be a little hit and miss, so I'm sorry if there's any hiccups. Uh, Schmidt, I hate your arm. <laughs> I already reduced the quality. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> well, every week the stream will get better. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> Until I just abruptly stop streaming, as I do with most things. Is this a... <laughs> uh, I forgot. I hate I hate this angle. Thanks guys. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you for all the K's. <laughs> K's to encourage me that streaming is possible and that arms are not as complicated as I like to think they are. <laughs> tips for drawing sleeves like like on the arm um follow the shape of the arm so for like this if he had sleeves <laughs> uh, instead of doing like that it would be more like that 
and then the fabric kind of pinches right here fold over right here and maybe there's another thing right there maybe not actually I don't like that <laughs> so is that is that is that it huh Where did I draw that? Oh. <laughs> Please name my layers. No. <laughs> I usually name my layers, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just haven't really done it on this one because uh, I started this pretty shortly before the stream and I wanted to get some work done on it before. Um. <laughs> uh, did I teach myself Photoshop? A little bit. I, I didn't like formerly learn Photoshop in school or anything. What am I drawing? These two. Um, but I also used a lot of different programs before moving to Photoshop. Like I used to do Open Canvas and Psy. Um, and God, way back when I was like a wee child, the only program I had access to for any type of like digital art type stuff was Jask Paint Shop Pro, which is what my dad happened to have lying around. So I actually learned digital in Jask Paint Shop Pro 9 or something. And um, it has a pretty similar interface. A lot of programs are, you know, if you're familiar with one, you can kind of move to a different one. <laughs> uh Gortarsis subscribes. Thank you. Is this hey anatomy. <laughs> yeah. Um Thank you, everyone who remembers Jask Paint Shop Pro. We are cut from the same cloth. <laughs> That's where I used to do all my art. All of my... That weird um, thing I redrew on the redraw episode, that was done in Jask with a mouse. So... <laughs> Humble beginnings. Um... How did I learn to use TV paint? Uh, I kind of taught myself TV paint. It's the same deal of um, interface wise. It's kind of similar to Flash, which I was really familiar with at the time. So uh, you, you just kind of figure it out, I guess. <laughs> um, but I mean, I was introduced to TV paint through school and because I was an animation major. And I think I had a class where I used TV paint, maybe. I don't remember. But I purchased my own copy that I still use to this day. Much like all of my software. <sighs> of course I don't mind, Cassie. Um... But, yeah. My one complaint about TV Paint is that while the interface is incredibly simple, it has so many fucking hotkeys. I've ruined many of my days by just accidentally hitting a key and not being able to figure out what I did. Um, but I love TV Paint. <laughs> How's the weather in New York? Where I am, it's, it's really nice. It's been really sunny since Tuesday. Uh, where does your booby go, Nando? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I 
MS Paint Best Art Program. Yo, I miss MS Paint. I haven't had a Windows computer in forever, but it looks like MS Paint is pretty, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I see people, like, using it on art YouTube, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's, it's a whole ass program now. I don't see what the issue is. <laughs> I will say that I, I don't recommend anyone watch Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'd be happy if you did. <laughs> oh, thank you, Badger Babe. I like to hang out with you guys. I am a pretty private person, but it is nice, especially in 2020 when I barely get to see anybody ever again. Damn it. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> River Hicks. I mean, here's the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I would literally never recommend it to anyone. It's, I think, super good, but the payoff for getting that emotional satisfaction of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is so much. You have to, you have to, de <laughs> you have to um, survive so much Yu-Gi-Oh! GX in order to get that real emotional payoff. So <laughs> it's, you have to really want it and be into it. Did I say Daft Clanker subscribed in Drawing Jess? I don't remember doing that, so I'm going to say it now. I do remember Gortarsis. <laughs> Can we set a Patreon goal for a Drawfee Team Yu-Gi-Oh! live play? I mean, I'd be down. I only have one Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. What is... What did I do here? Um in real life. So. Nando, your boobies. What the? Bleh. Okay, that looks stupid. Um. Or was I ever into Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged? Yes. Um. Which is really funny because I do have the occasional Twitter interaction with Lil Karibo. Dare I say that we are slightly Twitter buds? Not really. Um, I've met his partner several times, so and they're super nice. But like, um, I was super into Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge when it first came out. I had his fucking Zazzle <laughs> t-shirt that said Super Special Awesome and I'd wear it to school. Uh, I used to lurk in the live journal communities of like Yu-Gi-Oh fandom back in the mid aughts. And I was in the live journal community where he first posted it. So near and dear to me in some ways, but I haven't watched it in a really long time. <laughs> That's stupid. I don't know how to draw. And I'm doing it in front of people. Uh, just a little titty. Uh, I gotta do that again. Can I please list my favorite anime? After I say, thank you, Harry So Scary, for subscribing. Um... I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh, specifically GX in the original. I also really like Arc 5, but I don't think it's good as a whole. Um, what am I doing? I also really like Gurren Lagann. Uh, if we're including movies, just uh, like Promare, real good. Anything by Satoshi Kon, he's my favorite. Uh, anime director. 
What else do I like? Mmm. <laughs> Am I watching any new good shows? I don't watch a lot of shows. When I say I don't consume media, that's a very um, accurate statement. Digimon? I think people... Here's the thing about Digimon. Um, I, I think people li think I like it a lot more than I do. I do really like Digimon. I'm super nostalgic for Tamers especially. Fialzamon is my all-time favorite. But as a whole, I I was into Digimon as a kid, and I continue to like it as an adult. But I don't. I'm not crazy about it at the same intensity as say Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah, B starts there. I don't know. I don't know what constitutes a favorite anime. <laughs> because I, I really like B stars. I really like the manga, um, and I think the anime is good too. I feel like Beastars as a story um, reads better as a manga than it does an anime, but I think the anime did a good job adapting it, if that makes sense. I like the concept of Digimon, kind of. I mean, I was super into Tamers. I don't have a lot of nostalgia for the first two, but Tamers I was absolutely crazy about. <laughs> um... But, yeah, like, you know, people are saying, make a Digimon video for your YouTube. And I probably won't do that just because I don't have as strong a feelings about it. <laughs> but Digimon Tamers is super good. It's my favorite. That one I actually go back and rewatch from time to time, whereas the rest, it's, it's occasionally... Um, why did I want to do a crossed arm pose? I'm not good at these. <laughs> Teen Wolf video when? I don't, I, I did my time in the Teen Wolf fandom and like, I feel like I wasn't even that big into Teen Wolf. It just, it was just there and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> I, Derek Hale was kind of my oh cool I drew that on the wrong layer um Derek Hale was like the Hanzo for my teen my time in the Teen Wolf fandom what am I doing um <laughs> yeah who amongst us has not spent our time in the Teen Wolf fandom <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I just, I just really liked <laughs> Derek Hale. I thought he was such a funny character. Um, I actually got into a little bit of fandom drama back in like 2013 because there was a Derek Hale appreciation tag on Tumblr and I like drew a very obviously like, s like sarcastic kind of mean spirited because <laughs> I thought Derek Hale was such a funny character and someone got really mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> My roommate just messaged me saying they got a recommendation to watch B stars. Do it, coward. <laughs> um. I'm just going to not work on that arm right now because I'm not enjoying it. Okay, cool. I put it on the right layer this time, too. <laughs> A.K. Nicole, stop it. <laughs> oh, you were in Super Hulock Tumblr. I somehow didn't get into Super Hulock Tumblr because I was in the Supernatural fandom and the Sherlock fandom, but um, why did I make this so long? Um, I just wasn't that into Doctor Who to like get into Super Hulock, so I guess I dodged that bullet. <laughs> Uh, 
set where that goes. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Confession time. What what was your embarrassing fandom? <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I too was in the Hitalia fandom in its heyday. None of this is a secret, but it is embarrassing. <laughs> <Let's> see. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of great answers in here. We're all comrades here. We've all done our time. <laughs> Have I ever been a part of the Warrior Cats fandom? No, I don't read. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> the Sailor Moon, nice. I mean, my first fandom was Yu-Gi-Oh, and I've come, I've, time is a flat circle, so here we are again. What was I doing with this leg? It was going like this. What if I just crop out all of this leg and not draw it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say that Sailor Moon and the like were, um embarrassing fandoms sailor moon is very in vogue right now <laughs> did i ever gaze upon the chasm that is homestuck no i i also dodged that bullet <laughs> i remember seeing it when it was first getting big opening the first page and being very confused about what it was and i think because of that i just never what layer am i drawing on okay <laughs> um i i didn't understand the layout of homestuck so i just it got confusing immediately so that kept me from getting into it <laughs> yeah do we have any one slur fans in the chat <laughs> okay what is what did i what is this layer oh okay cool and Logon could be obnoxious it could yeah i was kind of in that fandom i did a some of my funniest comics were done in the current Logon fandom <laughs> lesbian shrew glee dude <laughs> um what was i your waist. <laughs> I will say that something that is kind of embarrassing but still very funny to me is I have this screenshot like saved on my Facebook of me and my best friend just e screaming at each other over Yahoo Messenger watching the mid-season finale of Glee season one. <laughs> Simpler times. Lauren! <laughs> oh no, you're in the chat. Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> I'm never going to finish prom with Feral, and I'm sad. <laughs> uh, 
Have I ever watched Vampire Night? No. I read it because I used to have a subscription to uh, Shoujo Beat, who published it, but um, I didn't read much of it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I still have Glee songs on my iPod. Some Glee songs are good. Is that how pants work? <laughs> Damn, we talking about Shigo in the chat? <laughs> On my... You remember in Windows XP when you had different profiles, you could set the custom avatars? I mean, you can do that with everything now, but it was like an exciting thing in Windows XP. Mine's was Shigo. <laughs> oh, thank you, Inkfish. <laughs> Why am I... Ugh, why did I do this? This is all that matters. This right here. I don't want to work on the rest of this. <laughs> Thank you, Josh Guell. Also, Young Bai Look and Fly. Thank you for subscribing. It's the only one I missed. Did I read Nintendo Power as a kid? Yes, I got a subscription to it for some reason. I didn't even like own any video game systems except the Game Boy. I just thought it was cool to read it. But that's not where I learned about Tingle. <laughs> okay, it's time to face my demons of this arm. Uh, <laughs> I am gonna crop it. I've given up. I don't know why I drew so much of their legs. This is stupid. <laughs> I'd like to do a little bit of color. What time is it? It's four. Okay. I just need to figure this arm out and then I can move on with my life. Guilt free. Nightcore? I'm still in my Nightcore phase. I listen to Nightcore every so often. <laughs> what are y'all's favorite Nightcore songs? Um, Bad Rat and Megan Willow. Thank you. Uh, what am I... That's not... No, that doesn't need to be there. <laughs> I listen to Nightcore when I'm like working really hard on something usually like late at night because it keeps me awake <laughs> um, when I was finishing my college thesis film I was, this doesn't, I hate this arm. Why did I do this? It doesn't look right. Um, I was running really behind schedule right at the end of the thesis thing. Like my film was due on Tuesday and on Saturday, I still had like a full minute of it left to color and do backgrounds for. So I basically didn't sleep for three days, not really by choice. <laughs> yeah, Angel with a shotgun. And thank you, Matthew P21. But 
But um, yeah, so I was just having a really rough time. And the entire Monday and probably the Sunday, too, that I was finishing up my film, um, all I listened to was Nightcore because it would just it, it made me feel so alive. <laughs> Um, I just, I need to flip this. I need to flip this and think about what I did wrong. It's his elbow. It's too short. This is stupid. Why did I do a cross arm pose? I don't even like this shit. <laughs> How long was my film? It was five minutes. <laughs> yeah, Angel with the Shotgun. That's the Venn diagram of uh, Supernatural fans and Nightcore. I'm the middle. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like Nightcore kind of awakens this feral, like, never sleeping bug in my body especially after that experience in college so <laughs> I, I still listen to it sometimes and I'm just like really in the zone it helps me focus <laughs> I hate arms I hate drawing them I hate thinking about them what the fuck is this why did I Oh no, I'm on the wrong layer again. God damn it. Okay, let's undo all of that. Uh, <laughs> and pretend it never happened. <laughs> crop out the arms. You can't just crop everything out. <laughs> I'm strong. I'm hardcore. I listen to Nightcore. What do I mean? Ah! I hate this. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, the focus is their faces, but you can't just not do the rest of the drawing. <laughs> you gotta be strong. I have to at least do up to here, up to, up to this point. <laughs> armpit, hide the armpit. No, <laughs> be strong. <laughs> Thanks, guys, um, and thank you, Ramen two four four, and Matthew P twenty one. I don't know if I read that one. I think I read Bad Rat, but just in case I didn't, you get a second one. You're welcome. I am going to crop the legs out. It was stupid of me to include them. I am being crushed by my own hubris live <laughs> on stream, but I do have to do the arm. So I am going to power through this arm right here, right now. I hate. I hate art. <laughs> um, is it also, is this elbow low? Kind of. <laughs> Do any of y'all read fan fiction? That's a silly question. <laughs> yes. My greatest accomplishment in life is that Hawkeye PI has an AO3 tag. <laughs> It'll never get better than this. Um. <laughs> uh, am, am I was there? Amy was there. Thank you. <laughs> What are my favorite fic tropes in case? Um, I'm truly not picky. Uh, I 
I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I didn't already write most of my favorite tropes into the canon of Hawkeye PI itself, so go crazy. <laughs> if you want to write anything, <laughs> go crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it does have an AO3 tag, and everything in it is so good. There is not a single bad thing in that tag. <laughs> I've never been more blessed. Dad. Why did I draw you with bare arms? This was a stupid idea. <laughs> uh, have you fulfilled any of the spicy commissions yet not yet um but i'm getting to it i have been kind of excited for those i will admit is that an arm that makes his shirt look really tight <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Cam Cam's is really good. <laughs> Cam's Schmando fic. I read it once a week. Yeah. Hard mode. Find my AO3 account. It's actually super easy, but I'm not going to give you any hints. <laughs> Are you able to reveal what some of them are? Nah, I figure I won't. That That's for the people who this said. <laughs> it's not hard to find my AO3 account. Not at all. What's really hard is finding my fanfiction.net account. That one's actually difficult. I think. Maybe. Actually, it might not be. <laughs> I'm not giving any hints. Yeah, someone write a Hawkeye PI fanfic where it's set in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe, specifically the Yu-Gi-Oh GX universe. It's a, it's a wonder I haven't done that myself yet. It's kind of fantastic that I haven't done any Hawkeye PI AU stuff yet, but that's because I feel bad because I haven't finished the canon. <laughs> Is that an arm? That's still not right. His titties out way too much. Um... What if I just gave him sleeves? Because I always get so confused. Can we do hot guy PI fan art? I would love that. I don't know if it's obvious, but I absolutely love any type of hot guy PI anything. It's kind of why I pushed really hard to make it its own comic. <laughs> Which houses would they be in? In GX? Um... What if I just gave Nando a shirt? There's an idea. Because then I don't have to draw his tattoo either. Uh, Schmidt would definitely be in blue. Because he, he paid his way in. Um, I don't know about Nando. My heart says red. Yeah, no spamming chat. Please don't. Make Cam's life a little easier on this Thursday afternoon. <sighs> what if I do the arm later and just color the faces? Because that's what I really wanted to do. Because then I have to draw the tiger. God damn it. I love character design. <laughs> <laughs> Sh 
attachment in a crop top. No, he tucks his, he wears high-waisted pants, tucks his shirt really high. That's his fashion. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this hand's too small. Uh, where do we send you fan art? Tweet me. Or I'm on Tumblr too, but Tumblr's tag system is abysmal, so it'll be a surprise, I guess. It's a tucked crop top. <laughs> Um, do I only post on Webtoon? There's currently only three issues. Um, I'm f deciding what to do with it going forward because I'm not sure if it'll stay on Webtoon, at least not in its current form. We'll see. But for the time being, for easy access, it's on Webtoon. an arm what are my thoughts on homestuck i don't have any <laughs> i've somehow made it like this far as you know deep in the internet as i typically am knowing very little about homestuck except like a couple things from my roommate and yeah is that what it would look like arms welcome to i don't know how to draw arms that's what i should have called the stream arms suck am i right <laughs> yeah i told you it wasn't hard to find but oh is it posture check time boink I could fix all of this by putting Nando in a different shirt, but I wanted to draw Summer Schmando. I haven't really done one this year. And Summer Nando would wear a little tank top. It's in character. <laughs> I feel like this is as close as I'm going to get to the arms being good. Folded arms are hard. I couldn't think of a better way to draw his arms. I was like, this will be a good pose. And look at me now. Miserable. <laughs> Wanting to move on with my life. That looks okay. It looks better than it did before. I should probably save. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. We'll leave it at that for now. <laughs> uh, thank you, Gravy. Also, thank you, the Dr. Cowbell. Sorry I missed that four minutes ago. <laughs> How can they make out if they're wearing masks? <laughs> it's okay, they're quarantined together. Okay, I'll add in a hint of legs and then I'm going to crop out the rest. <laughs> Can we get a Hawkeye PI summary for you interested in reading it? Well, basically, um, this is Schmidt and Nando and they work together as private investigators, but they're not that smart. And their gimmick is that they are conventionally attractive. And they discover mysteries. <laughs> it's not that long. Check it out. 
Um, if you want the full backstory of Hawkeye P.I., watch the Handsome Man episode on Drawfee. <laughs> That's where it all started. <laughs> yeah, by the way, they solve crimes. Ah, Mike Bedencourt gifted seven subs to the community. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and there's a dog with a knife. <laughs> Am I great at pitching my story or what? Any advice for copying a face, right? Mixing tracing with my English styles. Mm, I feel like I'm not the person to ask. Um, I'm not really good at portraiture, I feel like. Um, I think the best way to approach like drawing a face is to measure everything out. <laughs> like, does that make sense? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of doing, like, drawing people whose likeness actually exist. Um, but the easiest way to approach that, I think, is to take measurements and break down the overall features. I feel like that's pretty straightforward. I don't know. Any advice for motivating yourself to draw? Mm, I don't know. I <laughs> hey, I'm bad at giving advice, but for me, I can motivate myself to draw just because I enjoy the act of making something. Like, why am I forcing you all to watch me draw these two right now? Because I like drawing them. <laughs> and yeah, my motivator is just, I want to draw this character doing this and then I do it unless I'm tired and then I just go to sleep will the raddest women ever make it into the Hawkeye PI universe yeah I have plans <laughs> I have so many plans I just need to actually set them into motion um, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this real quickly Remember what a tiger looks like. I've already messed up. Uh, uh fuck. I remember forgot. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. It's our dear editor David's birthday today. Have you wished them happy birthday, everyone? <laughs> what does a tiger look like what does a tiger look like I'm just gonna make it up <laughs> also thank you Tevin Fry for subscribing Sometimes you get so caught up in drawing an arm, you lose track of time and forget to mention it's David's birthday. But yeah, go tell him happy birthday. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I think that's what his tattoo looks like. <laughs> Thank you, Adam D. Red. <laughs> it is a cat with stripes. 
one day I'll do proper reference for Nando's tattoo for my for my benefit mostly, but every time I make it up. Okay, add some bullshit. Tangent. <laughs> Jacob cameo and Hawkeye PI. Everyone can cameo in Hawkeye PI. <laughs> it's only fair. I probably shouldn't have even done that. Uh, it's on a different layer, doesn't matter. All right. Slap down some color for so I can be happy. Mask everything in. <laughs> Is Nando Filipino? Yeah, he's he's Filipino American, my dude. Hong Kong. Yeah, hot yogi will make a cameo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can watch me color in slow motion for once. <laughs> I promise you, it's like not better in fast motion. Did I close this line art? I wonder if I could just... No, it's completely open. Never mind. I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> uh. What's the process for colors? Well, cause I, people always ask why I do it this way and it's mostly just to save myself a little grief later. But I'll usually color everything in one color just so that the edges are all set. Like these little bits with the hair, you know? If I do, you know, the hair is brown, the, this part is gonna be like tan, uh, it'll just be less, cumbersome later to just do this these little edges first and then only have to worry about edging things in on the inside later uh what tablet do i use right now i have a good old uh cintiq 22 inch um you yeah, know this is this is my old tablet from work um but yeah, so I have the big Cintiq right now. I used to use the smaller one, like the 13 inch. And then before that, I just used like an Intuos tablet. <laughs> oh no, a truck 909 rip. <laughs> Been there. You do it in red so yeah I just alpha lock it so I can color like I said so I don't have to worry about mostly the hair the hair gets really annoying to deal with later so I can just put big swatches of color over it without worrying about it going back outside the line and I'm not gonna change my eraser size cuz actually I will cuz this is getting annoying <laughs> It's not a very intellectual process I have, but it works for me. 
Uh, what kind of iPad? Uh, it's just the iPad Pro. It's actually, it's not a new one. I think I got it back in 2017. I've had it for a while, but I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, I'll show you, I'll, I'll try to do this fast so I can just show you like what the one color layer thing is in action, but, um, there is no significance to the fact that it's red. It's just cause when you go here and you're set to default black and white, it's on the red. <laughs> I like red. <laughs> yeah. Tiger stripes wild. Uh, Missy Ellie 27, thank you. Oh, wow. Alex. Get some rest. <laughs> if, even if it's later, you get, you get some sleep soon. <laughs> Here, this one's for you. I was talking with my mom about Hawkeye PI because they keep up with my work. And she was like, oh, is, non, is, is Nando like Filipino or something? And I was like, yeah, he's Filipino American. Uh, and she's like, oh, wow, that means his family nickname is Do or Nanding. <laughs> and I was like, ah. <laughs> I love your head cannons, mom. Um, <laughs> do I prefer the Cintiq or the iPad? Um, it depends. It depends for what. I feel like working at a computer is just kind of better um, for... I'll put it this way. I love sketching on the iPad. I can do it anywhere, aka I can do it in bed. And um, I do really like Procreate. I think it works super well. And I, I just like it for my own workflow. But for stuff that require a bit more um, precision or a bit more layout and adjustment, like comics where you have to do like words and shit, um, I always do that on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> is the procreate app, Pro, <laughs> procreate app worth buying yeah um you know if you already have the ipad and the pencil and stuff or whatever other things you may be using uh yeah i really like it um and it's and it's cheap comparatively i i don't know what price it is now I haven't really checked in a while because like I said I've been using the same iPad setup since 2017 so long ago but um it, it was what like $15 it's just compared to some of the other art applications um which can be very expensive or subscription based it's a one time you just you buy it and it's it's really solid <laughs> come on, come on. Um, does Nando have any tattoos we haven't seen? I think so. <laughs> uh, I haven't decided what and where, but I want to say yes. I've never used Krita. Is this the tattoo reveal piece? No, I've seen it. It's, a, it's always been around. Oh, it's only $10 US? Yeah, like for the price, it's super good. I 
And like I said, almost everything I do, like outside of Drawfee and and occasional comics and stuff, is on Procreate now, just because I like to draw in bed. <laughs> um, and I like their brushes. Uh, what do I recommend for people just starting? Um, that's always kind of a tough question because it also kind of depends on what you can afford and what works best for you. Because if you just have, you know, a computer set up and maybe like an art program of some kind, like probably just a cheap uh, Wacom or what's the other brand? Huey on uh, tablet. I, I can't vouch much for Huey on. I've never used one, but I've only heard good things about it. So whatever is most affordable, that's a good place to start. I mean, like I said, I, I use a Cintiq now, but I only ever used basically like the, whatever the baseline Wacom is like the, I think it's the Intuos now, but it was the bamboo before. I used a bamboo until 2017, so, and then I switched to a small Cintiq. So it's just whatever works for you. And I mean, and I mean, I do recommend like the iPad setup, but that's also quite expensive. So only if, only if that works for you because the iPad and pencil itself are expensive but like I said I really love Procreate and it's not expensive for an art program at all yeah everyone says Huey on super good so I believe it <laughs> yeah I don't know what other apps are good I hear so many good things about uh, Clip Paint Studio Clip Studio Paint you know the one and I've been meaning to buy that it's it has such good sales but I keep forgetting to um but I've only heard good things about that program as well and it's much cheaper than like photoshop or something Almost done. Yeah, because I know Clip Studio has so many tools, especially if you're more into drawing like comics, anime-esque type stuff. They have so much shit built into it. And it sounds so versatile and I really want to try it, but I just keep not buying it. So, but it does, they do go on sale quite a lot. Um. One of the main reasons that I use Photoshop is just because I own it. Um, I bought CS6, like a bunch of the programs a really long time ago. So as long as they work, I'm going to use them. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you're a student, check out any student discounts because most of the software that I own, I got on a student discount and that helped a lot. <laughs> and look at me now, still using it. <laughs> still moving that license around <laughs> as much as I can what time is it oh gosh it's almost five I didn't even realize I wanted to color this on stream but instead I just drew an arm <laughs> uh, what brush did I use for the line art on this one? Um, this is a Kyle Webster brush. It's an old one, so I don't know if there's like a new version or an updated version of it in like modern Photoshop. This is super old, but it's the Sexy Sumi E, I believe is the one I used for this. I just picked it at random, honestly. There's a few that I pick from, and I think that's the one that I just happened to use for this one. Yeah, I mean, it just depends what you're using things for. <laughs> Who is Kyle and why does he have so many brushes? 
<laughs> uh, he, he is a guy who just made Photoshop brushes and eventually got hired by Adobe. He used to sell them independently, but I think now, like, if you have Creative Cloud, you can just access his brushes, like, as part of it, so. But I did buy a lot of his brushes back in the day, so I just still have them. this bottom because it's going to get cropped anyway. Yeah, if you poke around, you can find free brush sets for a lot of programs that like sometimes artists will make their own and stuff. Or you can find them for pretty cheap on like Gumroad and stuff. You just keep, keep a lookout. Is that everything? Is that everything? Do that and boom. But yeah. I'm gonna name that layer or else I'll get really confused. And because what I do now that everything's red, so I can just alpha lock it and then put it back the way it was. I don't want that bright a purple. And then just do this. <laughs> and that's why I color everything red, because I'm lazy. It's just easier than to do it individually by color. Artist hacks, just so you don't have to worry too much about the finer details. Oh, thank you, Logos Intellect. And thank you, Mike Betancourt, for gifting another five subs. <laughs> And I wish I had finished this before stream so I could have just colored it on stream like a fun person, but I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle with arms. Yeah, we love alpha locks. Up, 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 up. Uh, I feel like this color is kind of a little too red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to do too much sketching on the stream because I knew it would make it hard to read. Um, Mara Bars 18 subscribe. Thank you. Wrong color. But I try. But I mean, again, if people are down, maybe next week I can do like <laughs> Neopets or some shit. <laughs> And maybe someday after that, it can actually continue Hawkeye PI. <laughs> Is that? I'll fix that later. Like most things in life, I'll fix it later in the privacy of my own home.
Okay. I'll, I'll see about doing Neopets next week. I just had the idea kind of late, so I didn't want to commit to it today. <laughs> bees hello fletch feathers <laughs> so one taps out another enters watching you do art makes me want to do art ah oh, heck you should do art Should all do art together. It's fun. That is something I do miss doing with friends. <laughs> uh, I miss having friends I could just see. We'd we'd hang out and draw together, and that's a chill time. But this can be that too. Do I normally listen to music when I draw? Yes. Um, it kind of depends. What what kind I listen to depends on what I am drawing or what I'm working on. A lot of my music tend, or a lot of my drawings tend to stem from music just because I really like listening to music and I like good lyrics. So if I'm drawing something based on a lyric, I'll listen to that song or something or that mood. I'll just listen to that or something like it. But if I'm in like the real thick of working on something and I just kind of need something to motivate me, I'll listen to some real fast music. I mentioned before that I unironically listen to Nightcore while I work, and that's true, but I think otherwise I also listen to a lot of Dragon Force, <laughs> and um, I also like listening to Susumu Hirasawa music while I work, because it makes me feel creative. It's good shit. <laughs> Well, thank you, Bobby. I, I did have fun. It was a chill time. I assume it wasn't as, like, difficult to watch his last stream, so that's always good. <laughs> it sounded like we only had one real fart right in the middle. Oh, yeah, I haven't listened to Baby Metal in a while. Them, too. Yeah. Nightcore Dragon Force. I don't see why not. <laughs> that. here for Drawfee. I mean, if your wrists are hecked up, you gotta rest, so there's nothing wrong with being unproductive if it's for a good reason. Let's go black. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX subbed or dubbed? Um, subbed. I'm a huge fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX dub. I think it's so fucking funny. 
but it definitely works better as supplementary material. If you want to get the real gist of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, you have to watch the sub. The dub is fine, it's just, it's, it's just, <laughs> this, the sub is more to the point. The dub uh, will miss some things and it's, but it is very funny. <laughs> Aw, oh, stream freezing. Oops. Getting some stream flickering on my end, but it seems mostly stable, so sorry about that, folks. Would you and or Jacob ever consider a comic planning layout advice stream? I'd certainly be down for that. Maybe we can do that as one of our, whatchamacallit, uh, art class streams, draw class, but Uh, oh, I missed some subs, maybe. Um, app to me and oven baked bread and Mara bars 18. Thank you. Sorry, I let those sit for a while. Some of them, did I say amp to me or amp tome? Whatever. <laughs> Uh, did I watch Brand New Animal? I haven't yet. I mentioned this before in a couple places, but I don't have Netflix. I use my friends, um, but I also only keep it logged in at my computer, and I just haven't been doing anything at my computer where it would be a good time to watch Brand New Animal. I think I'm going to make you wear blue, bitch. Yes. Yes. I'll finish this later, but I want it to be known that he will be wearing a floral print because I think that's nice and summery while also still being pretty in character. <laughs> yeah, BNA is brand new animal, right? I love Boku no Academy. <laughs> Glad everyone thinks this is a nice blue. I might tweak it. <laughs> but I'll do it later. We're just splotching on the color right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get stupid gloves. What color are you? Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
I love the stream Jacob and Julia did where they show how they practice. Would you ever do a stream like that? I'm down. I mean, this is kind of what I get up to <laughs> on my own time. Just a lot of self-indulgent drawing. So I guess that was kind of what this stream was. But I could also, you know, stand to be more productive with my time. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, everyone check their posture, please. Put it. <laughs> How much work has gone into Draw Detective so far? Um. I mean, it depends for, for as a whole about a little bit more than you've already seen. Um, but Julia worked so hard <laughs> on the planning stages of Draw Detective, um, months, months of work. So be sure to compliment her on that today and every day. <laughs> what color should Nando wear? Do I want to be real crazy about it? Or do I want to be boring? Or a mix of the two? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Hello. Hazard stripes tank top. So we don't, nothing happens to him while he's solving crime. five so I'm gonna start winding this down I'll finish this and post it later but thank you everyone for hanging out with me while I while I figured out how to draw an arm <laughs> but yeah thank you everyone did I miss anyone uh, did I say Dzohoriel and Saviski well I did now so thank you guys for subbing and thank you for hanging out with me on this fine Thursday I think it's Thursday at least but yeah yeah, go watch the new episode if you haven't. It kicks ass. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Neo Pets next week? Maybe so. But we'll see. Keep an eye out for more streams. We'll be back Monday night at our usual time. 7 Eastern. But as we work our way up to do more streaming, to do the thing maybe there will be other streams <laughs> so keep keep your eyes open you never know but yeah all right i'm, I'm heading out <laughs> thank you guys and thank you everyone for your support Mwah. and thank you atm games who got really last minute in here okay i'm logging off now bye